Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm gonna try to save you guys some time, and I'm gonna go over the questions that we uh, frequently get asked when doing our consultation meetings. So the very first question is, what does it take to book my date? So after having a consultation meeting, uh, we'll send over a contract, and for you guys to secure the DJ for your event, you will need to uh, make a retainer payment, which is gonna be about 40%, and then you also have to sign a contract. Now, we do accept all forms of payment, so Venmo, PayPal, and we also do accept uh, debit cards and credit cards. Uh, with debit and credit, they will charge you a 3% transaction fee. What is the booking process? So the very first step is setting up a consultation meeting. This can be done either via phone or a Zoom meeting. I prefer a Zoom meeting so that way I can show you different parts of our events and the booking process and our planning forms. After you become one of my clients, we will set up a site walkthrough or a time where we go over the floor plan. Uh, from there, we will reach back out to you about a month before your wedding uh, to set up a final meeting that's usually about seven days beforehand. And this is where we'll go over the planning forms, music, details. From there, we will show up to your guys' wedding about two to three hours beforehand. So that way we have enough time to set everything up. And so this is the typical structure uh, from the time that you hire us to the wedding day. So many of the weddings that we do are at popular locations that we've done before. So not every time is required to do a site walkthrough, but if it's comfortable for you guys, you wanna uh, uh, look at a floor pan, what is gonna be best, we can do a say walkthrough with you. If we haven't been at the venue before, then more times than not, we're gonna do a site walkthrough. We wanna see where power is, where we're gonna be pulling into, anything that could be challenging on the day of the event. We like to go through and do a site walkthrough, make sure that none of this comes up on the day of your wedding. So with our company, nobody on our team will drink while working. We consider this as a professional job. So as you guys are having fun and partying, I understand that. But you don't want somebody drinking as they're talking on the microphone. It's just an unprofessional look and something that we don't do with our company. For every person that's going to be at your wedding, we ask that you guys provide us a vendor meal. This is not a kid's meal, but uh, equivalent to what you guys are eating. Uh, and then we'll, we'll give you an idea of how many people are going going to be at your event depending on the type of packages that you guys order. How many hours are included? So a standard DJ packages start at five hours. Even if your event is only four hours, our packages will start at five hours. If you guys need to add time to any package, you guys are more than welcome to do it. Uh, right now, our packages are about $150 an hour for time added. This can be paid beforehand, and we can also add on time at the end of the event. So let's say we're getting to the end of your time and you guys still wanna keep going, we can add that. We do need to have payment for the overtime before the overtime actually starts. I know it's not all you guys, um, but we've just had times where we're collecting payments afterwards and we like to take care of that beforehand. But this is usually why we ask for a timeline be submitted seven days beforehand so we know the package length so that way we're not having to take care of this during the wedding. Do you take requests and do you need internet to perform? Our music is kept on a computer. As Spotify is a great tool. We don't actually use Spotify on the day of your wedding. We will download the music locally, have it on our computers and our database. Now we will take requests uh, if it's on your do not playlist. We'll make sure that we do not play that or we'll send your guests over to the bride and groom and ask if it's okay if we play that song. Is the ceremony setup included? What if we're not having a ceremony? Now our pricing package is based on hours, not the equipment needed for a typical ceremony and reception. So if you guys don't have a ceremony, then that time will just be added to the reception so you can have an overall package time of five hours. So it is included in the original package. How many microphones are included? So for the ceremony, your package will come with either two lapel mics or two handheld 
or a combination of both, depending on what you need. If you guys need additional microphones, if you guys have somebody playing a vitamin string quartet, a piano, a violin, then we'll have to add additional microphones for them being played. Now when it comes for the reception, you'll have two wireless handheld microphones. If you guys need additional microphones for somebody playing a musical instrument, then we can incorporate those as well. How far will you travel and what's the travel cost? Right now, we don't have any limits on how far that we will travel, but we do have a travel cost uh, after 40 miles, and this will be both ways. But from our location, if you're within 40 miles, then there is no additional cost to your guys' package. Do you guys carry insurance? With our company, we carry up to a million dollars of liability insurance. Not many, but some venues ask that uh, they see a copy of our insurance for us to perform at that particular venue. So you wanna check with your venue to see if this is a requirement from the DJ company. What is your setup requirements? For each wedding, we would like to have a floor plan from you. Our DJ space, we need to have an area marked out that is 10 by 10. We don't take up this full space, but that's the area that we need for a floor plan. We also ask that there are no tables in front of the DJ booth, so that way we can set up our speakers and it's not gonna be blaring right over somebody's head. So we'd like to have a clear area to the dance floor. I know this is not optimal for all setups. Uh, sometimes we are set up off to the side, but in an ideal situation, we like to have the DJ table set up on one side of the dance floor, and then on the other side is usually the head table. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. If you guys have any more questions or you guys would like to book a consultation meeting, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you guys.